Good morning! How's everybody doing today? Who's ready to watch me do some work? This is unreal. You guys are at home watching me work. I love it. First of all, I want to say thanks. It was such an amazing outpouring of comments. You guys really seem to enjoy this idea. So I guess we'll continue with it for a little while. And I just wanted to reach out to all of you guys and let you know that even though like this might seem like a monumental task, I'm renovating an entire house, basically every single thing that I'm doing, you guys can also do at home. You just gotta take it one step at a time. So from a lot of the comments and like there were over 600 of them on Instagram alone, I did not like read all of them, but I did kind of get a sense that you guys want to see more of the process. So that's what we're going to kind of do today. I'm going to go through like one step of what I'm doing today and what my goal is for today. And this might take a few days to do. So there might not be another video for a couple days. I don't know. We'll kind of have to see how it goes. I also want to just let you know up front, you know, this is an active construction site. So the sound and the lighting is not perfect. This is like, you know, this is off the cuff. That's what it is. It is what it is. So today, the project that we're going to work on is, I don't know, a lot of you guys have these old popcorn ceilings. Can you see it? It's like in some of the houses they sprayed like it was like a popcorn type material and it's really dated, it's old and it's not really like, you know, like when you're redoing a house now you want a fresh look. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the popcorn to prep the ceiling for paint, okay? And it's really pretty easy uh, if you just take it one step at a time. I'm gonna look down here. What I have here, if you can see, this is just a regular spray bottle that you can get at any hardware store. And uh, it's just a pump spray bottle. You fill it up. In this case, I filled it up with just hot water. That's it. You pump it up. And once you get it ready, you're going to spray the ceiling. You're not going to soak it. You just, you just spray it kind of like up there. Get it wet so that it's saturated with the hot water and just let it sit. Let it sit for, I don't know, three or four or five minutes. And I've already done that. So I can show you the next step is, all you have to do is, this is a six inch putty knife. It's a flexible one, it's not a stiff one. And you're basically just gonna get a ladder, be safe, and you're gonna come up to the top of the ceiling where the popcorn is and you just hold the, hold the knife at like a 30 degree angle and gently push right across this top and you'll see that popcorn will come right off nice and easy. Now they sell all different kinds of contraptions that will catch the popcorn as it comes off. My advice to you, let it fall to the floor and then get a shop vac if you have one and vacuum it up, clean it up. It's easy that way. Afterwards, you're gonna have to let the ceiling dry before you paint it, but it's pretty simple. It comes right off, it's easy. Do one section at a time, and just be careful of two things. Number one, you don't wanna cut into the sheetrock. You don't wanna make gouges in the sheetrock because that's your ceiling. And number two, when you get by the edges, you have to be careful because there's some tape on the edges where they join the wall and the ceiling and you don't want to cut that tape. So be very careful and a little bit gentle when you get to the edges and that's it. So I have an entire house that I have to strip and like I said, it's probably going to take two or three days, but I'm so excited that you guys are on this project here with me. It's going to be fun. We got a lot to do. We're going to take it one day at a time. And tonight is a brand new episode of Survivor. I'm so excited about that. I'm on the edge of extinction right now with my wife. I kind of feel a little bit like I'm on the edge every day here at work because I'm by myself. But right now with all the social distancing and the coronavirus uh, regulations, it is for the best. So I hope everybody is staying safe 
Let me know what you guys think, and maybe tomorrow we'll talk a little bit about tonight's episode. All right, take care, guys.